The Millennium Prize problems are seven problems in mathematics that were stated by the Clay Mathematics Institute in 2000. As of June 2014, six of the problems remain unsolved. A correct solution to any of the problems results in a one million U.S. dollars prize being awarded by the Institute. The Poincaré copyright conjecture was solved by Grigory Perelman, but he declined the award in 2010. Problems P versus NP. The question is whether, for all problems for which an algorithm can verify a given solution quickly, an algorithm can also find its solution quickly. The former describes the class of problems termed NP while the latter describes P. The question is whether or not all problems in NP are also in P. This is generally considered one of the most important open questions in mathematics and theoretical computer science as it has far-reaching consequences to other problems in mathematics, and to biology, philosophy and cryptography. If P equals NP, then the world would be a profoundly different place than we usually assume it to be. There would be no special value in creative leaps, no fundamental gap between solving a problem and recognizing the solution once e to euro unregistered trademark s found. Everyone who could appreciate a symphony would be Mozart. Everyone who could follow a step-by-step -step argument would be Gauss. A euro Scott Aronson, MIT. Most mathematicians and computer scientists expect that par per million p. The official statement of the problem was given by Stephen Cook. The Hodge conjecture. The Hodge conjecture is that for projective algebraic varieties, Hodge cycles are rational linear combinations of algebraic cycles. The official statement of the problem was given by Pierre Deligne. The Poincaré copyright conjecture. In topology, a sphere with a two-dimensional surface is characterized by the fact that it is compact and simply connected. The Poincaré copyright conjecture is that this is also true in one higher dimension. The question had been solved for all other dimensions. The conjecture is central to the problem of classifying three manifolds. The official statement of the problem was given by John Milner. A proof of this conjecture was given by Grigory Perelman in 2003. Its review was completed in August 2006, and Perelman was selected to receive the Fields Medal for his solution but he declined that award. Perelman was officially awarded the Millennium Prize on March 18, 2010, but he also declined the award and the associated prize money from the Clay Mathematics Institute. The Interfax News Agency quoted Perelman as saying he believed the prize was unfair. Perelman told Interfax he considered his contribution to solving the Poincare conjecture no greater than that of Columbia University mathematician Richard Hamilton. The Riemann Hypothesis the Riemann hypothesis is that all non-trivial zeros of the analytical continuation of the Riemann zeta function have a real part of one half. A proof or disproof of this would have far-reaching implications in number theory, especially for the distribution of prime numbers. This was Hilbert's eighth problem, and is still considered an important open problem a century later. The official statement of the problem was given by Enrico Bombieri. Yang Euro Mill's existence and mass gap. In physics, classical Yang Euro Mills theory is a generalization of the Maxwell theory of electromagnetism where the chromoelectromagnetic field itself carries charges. As a classical field theory, it has solutions which travel at the speed of light so that its quantum version should describe massless particles. However, the postulated phenomenon of color confinement permits only bound states of gluons, forming massive particles. This is the mass gap. Another aspect of confinement is asymptotic freedom which makes it conceivable that quantum Yang-Mills theory exists without restriction to low energy scales. The problem is to establish rigorously the existence of the quantum Yang-Mills theory and a mass gap. The official statement of the problem was given by Arthur Jaff and Edward Witten. A claimed solution by South Korean researchers in 2013 was deemed insufficient. Naviera Euro Stokes existence and smoothness. The Naviera Euro Stokes equations describe the motion of fluids. Although they were found in the 19th century, they still are not well understood. The problem is to make progress toward a mathematical theory that will give insight into these equations. The official statement of the problem was given by Charles Verferman. The Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture. 
the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture deals with a certain type of equation, those defining elliptic curves over the rational numbers. The conjecture is that there is a simple way to tell whether such equations have a finite or infinite number of rational solutions. Hilbert's tenth problem dealt with a more general type of equation, and in that case it was proven that there is no way to decide whether a given equation even has any solutions. The official statement of the problem was given by Andrew Wiles. See also, Hilbert's problems, list of unsolved problems in mathematics, Paul Wolfskeel, Smale's problems, references. This article incorporates material from Millennium Problems on Planet Math, which is licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike license. Further reading, Devlin, Keith J. 2002. The Millennium Problems, The Seven Greatest Unsolved Mathematical Puzzles of Our Time. New York, Basic Books. ISBN A 0 465 01729 0. Carlson, James. Jaff, Arthur. Wiles, Andrew, Ed's The Millennium Prize Problems. Providence, Rhode Island, American Mathematical Society and Clay Mathematics Institute. ISBN A 978 0 8218 3679 8. External links, The Millennium Grand Challenge in Mathematics, The Millennium Prize Problems.